With our heavily overpopulated planet bursting at the seams with about 7.3 billion people, it seems almost impossible to find an isolated spot where you can get away from it all. Over the course of the past decades, humans have managed to take over a vast majority of what once used to be pristine natural beauty. Sadly, this includes countless animal and plant species natural habitats. Nevertheless, if you're one of those who enjoy relaxing in undisturbed solitude, I've got good news for you. As improbable as it may seem, humanity has not managed to spoil everything. Places that are free from the destruction of man still exists. Getting to these remote places, on the other hand, uh, it's not that easy. To enjoy some of the most remote places in the world, you'll have to venture away from the concentration of people and journey into unknown places. Mountains, jungles, and islands thousands of miles away from the hustle of busy metropolitan places and touristic attractions. I'm Mike with List25, and from a little Indian village surrounded by breathtaking unspoiled nature, and an Australian mining town hidden in a scorching desert, to an isolated Arizonan village where mail is still delivered by a mule, these are 25 of the most remote places in the world. Twenty-five. Found in the south coast of Iceland, the Vestmanaier archipelago is a great example of a beautiful and remote place. Inhabited by 4,000 locals, this archipelago is every solitude seeker's paradise. Twenty-four. Boasting the title of the highest elevation human habitation in the world, La Rinconada is a Peruvian city perched 5,100 meters that's more than 16,700 feet above sea level. As this secluded city has no plumbing and no sanitation system, its 50,000 inhabitants have been struggling with environmental problems and pollution from nearby gold mines. 23. Even China, the world's most populous country, has some places where you hardly encounter any companions. Located in the Tibet Autonomous Region of China, Medog County was the only Chinese county without a road access until 2010. But even then, Medog, with its just 10,000 inhabitants, has remained a very deserted and secluded place. 22. Located on the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean coast of Namibia, the Skeleton Coast is one of the most extreme, isolated, driest, and scariest places. One of the very few indigenous tribes capable of living in this inhospitable land is the Himba people, semi-nomadic hunters and gatherers. 21. Found in the northern part of the Australian state of Queensland, the Cape York Peninsula is considered one of the last remaining wilderness areas on Earth. A natural habitat to numerous animal and plant species, many of which are endemic to this unique region, the peninsula is also home to some 18,000 mostly aboriginal people. 20. Also known as the Desolation Islands for their sheer distance from any civilization, the Kerguelen Islands are the islands in the southeastern Indian Ocean. Situated more than 3,300 kilometers or 2,000 miles away from the nearest populated location, the islands have no permanent population, hosting just a research center occasionally used by French scientists. 19. The second most populous country in the world, India, can also boast some sparsely inhabited places hidden in mountains far away from the bustling Indian metropolises. Munar, a little town in the state of Kerala in southern India, is definitely one of those places. Set in unspoiled nature, the town is notable for its picturesque tea gardens. Well, that sounds lovely. I want to go. 18. One of the northernmost and coldest inhabited areas in the world. Uh... <laughs> One of the northernmost and coldest inhabited areas in the world, Itukotormanit, is a settlement in eastern Greenland. Known for its unique wildlife, including polar bears, musk oxen, and seals, the region is also home to just about 450 people who mainly make their living through whale and polar bear hunting. 17. Located in the eastern part of the Russian state Saka Republic, Omkayon is an isolated village with about 500 inhabitants. Scourged by local extreme subarctic climate, the village holds the title of the lowest recorded temperature for any 
permanently inhabited location on Earth. On February 6th, 1933, a temperature of negative 67.7 degrees Celsius or negative 90 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded here. 16. Hidden in a desert in South Australia, some 850 kilometers or 530 miles from Adelaide, Cooper Petty is a little town of about 1,700 inhabitants. Despite its small size and extreme remoteness, the town is known in Australia and many other countries as it's the largest opal mining area in the world. The town is also famous for its below ground residences called dugouts, where the locals stay during the scorching daytime heat. 15. Hungaroa is the main town and harbor of the Chilean province, Easter Island. The town's population of about 3,300 represents 87% of the population of the entire island. Located between the extinct volcanoes of Teravaca and Ranocao, the town also features Mataveri International Airport, the world's most remote airport. 14. Situated in the South Atlantic Ocean, some 2,400 kilometers or 1,500 miles from St. Helena, 2,800 kilometers or 1,750 miles from South Africa, and 3,360 kilometers or 2,090 miles from South America, Tristan Hay! De Kuna is the most remote inhabited island in the world. A part of the British Overseas Territory, the island is home to 300 people, mostly farmers and craftsmen. I'm in a place. You're so isolated. You should get to know people. I'm in a place. You're not, well, you're in a place now. No. You are a place. There's a place called Tristan. Nice. And it's spelled your way. 13. Surrounded by 13 4,000 mountains, and those are mountains that are at least 4,000 meters or 13,000 feet above sea level, Saasfi is a little mountain village in southern Switzerland. Getting there is not easy, as no cars are allowed to enter the town. They have to be parked in special car parks outside. Only small electric vehicles can be operated on the streets. I'm sorry, am I boring you with your, these awesome numbers? I wanna go to car town. 12. Located in the Brazilian state of Amazonas, Manacupuru is a remote municipality hidden in the Amazon rainforest. Lying about 80 kilometers or 50 miles upstream from Manaus, the state's capital, this region has 100,000 inhabitants, covering an area of over 7,300 square kilometers or 2,800 square miles. Manacupuru is also a natural home to some of the most popular aquarium fish. 11. Found in the South Atlantic Ocean, Bouvet Island is considered the most remote island in the world, occupying an area of just 49 square kilometers or 19 square miles. The island has no permanent population and serves occasionally as a scientific and research base. Around 93% of the island is covered by a glacier. 10. One of the few villages providing access to the extremely inhospitable Simpson Desert Inaminka is a tiny settlement in northeast South Australia. Located hundreds of miles from the closest towns, the settlement is home to no more than 15 people who constantly struggle with the local unbearably hot and dry climate, not to mention the frequent sandstorms. 9. A part of the Shetland Islands, Fula is one of the most remote permanently inhabited islands of the UK. With an area of just 5 square miles or 13 square kilometers, the island is home to only 38 people who mostly make their living by farming, keeping sheep, and also ornithological tourism as Fula provides natural habitats to numerous bird species. Squawk, squawk. <laughs> oh look, it's the blue-footed Tristan. 8. A research center in the main community in Antarctica, the world's most isolated continent, the McMurdo Station is operated by the U.S. through the United States Antarctic Program, a branch of the National Science Foundation. Up to 1,258 residents can be accommodated at the station, but they still have to deal with the extreme Antarctic climate. 7. Located on the Adak Island, Alaska, Adak is the westernmost municipality of the U.S. Inhabited by just over 300 people, the town lies in subpolar oceanic climate zone, 
characterized by persistently overcast skies, moderate temperatures, high winds, and frequent cyclonic storms. With 263 rainy days per year, Adak has the second highest precipitation in the US. Hey, I'm on a green screen shouting out weather. I sound like a meteorologist. And uh, over here, you'll see Adak having some storms and, and thunderstorms at the uh, high of 90. I uh, got unexpectedly hot today and uh, down south, probably around Texas. If, if uh, Alaska's here, I assume Texas is down here. Uh, you got a high of 30 in Dallas, Fort Worth area. And uh, But let's take a look at the weekend forecast. Uh, if only you could see what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> Six. The largest settlement on Cocos Island, an Australian territory in the Indian Ocean, the Bantam Village is where most of the approximately 600 residents of Cocos Island live. Lying in the tropical latitude, the Bantam Village experiences warm and constant temperatures all year round. Five. Found in Coconino County, Arizona, Supai is one of the most isolated towns in the US. With no roads leading to the town, the only way to get there is to take a helicopter, hike, or ride a mule. The mail is also delivered by mule, making Supai the only place in the US where mail is carried out this way. The population of the town is about 200. Four. Situated approximately halfway between Norway and Iceland, the Faroe Islands have been a self-governing country within the Danish realm since 1948. With a population of just under 50,000, these remote islands are famous for the fact that there are more sheep than people living there. Another animal typical of this secluded country is the Ferozi Puffin. That's adorable. Puff Puff? No. Three. Located on the south coast of Baffin Island, Iqaluit is the capital of the Canadian territory of Nunavut. Home to less than 7,000 people, it has the distinction of being the smallest Canadian capital and the only capital that is not connected to other settlements by a highway. Due to its remoteness, it's generally only accessible by aircraft or boat. Two. Laura is an island and a little town situated in the Marshall Islands, an archipelago in the Pacific Ocean. At approximately 10 feet or 3 meters above sea level, Laura has one of the highest elevations of any islands in the archipelago. It's one of the few places where you can enjoy amazing beaches and pristine nature without having to share it with crowds of tourists. One. Located about midway between continental Norway and the North Pole, Svalbard is a Norwegian archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. Covering an area of over 61,000 square kilometers, almost 24,000 square miles, but inhabited by just about 2,600 people, the archipelago is mostly covered by glaciers. Its unique location and remoteness makes it a great spot to watch the northern lights. So, where's the most remote place you've been? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at list25. For me, it'd probably have to be the uh, the Utah desert when I lived out there for a bit. I uh, spent seven weeks in a desert. How are you gonna make this weird? In between my couch cushions, where the remote usually falls. Oh, I was like sitting there I'm like, but you live near people. Most remote location. How yeah. often do you lose your remote in the couch cushions? A lot. Really? A lot. Put it on a table. I, yeah. I don't have that problem. Also, I suddenly have two remotes. Where? That's weird. They're exactly the same. No idea where the other one came from, but they both work on my TV. Are they Vizio? No. No. Oh. I don't mm. have problems losing my remote, <laughs> so I didn't think of that pun. <laughs> yep. I don't have that issue. Well, it's true. Or would the most remote location be like a remote control car convention? Ooh. Well, we're talking about where I've been. Oh. You right. don't go to remote control car conventions? Not often. <laughs> but I don't rule them out either. I gotta go to mine right now. Wait, we have two more lists to film. Nope. Remote control cars. Well, I guess I'm in charge now. So, what's an unethical experiment you'd like to perform? No. <laughs> oh, right. Gotcha. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going. Okay. 
Don't perform unethical experiments, kids. Or adults. Well, I mean, yeah. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.